All right, so I'm standing here right outside of, right on um, Palm Beach, and I'm gonna take you through a pretty short video, just um, my experience in moving down to Wellington in Palm Beach County, Florida, and uh, my wife and I and three kitties and two doggies, we, we all, uh, we did it about a little bit over three years, so it's still pretty, pretty clear in my mind. By the way, my name is Jason Ike Miller, um, and I run this channel, and uh, basically I'm a, uh, a mortgage broker. Love, love, love living in Florida, and I figure that if you're like me and you're considering a move, you probably have a lot of thoughts, you're probably nervous. I wasn't incredibly nervous, but my wife certainly was. But if I can give you a little bit of guidance or a little bit of help, then, then but like basically if you want to do this you, there's probably a way to do it so um love to love to empower you and help you through your journey um go ahead and smash smash that subscribe button i hear everybody else saying smash it hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about living in palm beach county wellington florida um glad to glad to share a good amount of information with you so again you're empowered if you want to make a move then you know that you can. And I believe in you. I believe that you can. So uh, let's, get, let's get to kind of the reasons why we moved uh, down. So first of all, we lived in Ambler, Pennsylvania, which is a, just kind of a, a suburb of Philadelphia. Had a wonderful life. I got three kids. Now they're 12, 10, and eight. It's uh, Alyssa, Jason, and Molly. So uh, a few years ago, they were three years younger. I'm not doing math on live TV. You think I'm crazy? So we had a great life living in Ambler, lots of friends, but man, the winters were, the winters were rough. By the way, as I'm uh, recording this, it's winter. I'm in a short sleeve shirt. I've got sandals on my feet and it's not incredibly warm, but we're gonna hit, we're in the low 70s now. We're gonna, we might hit 80 degrees today. So anyway, in Pennsylvania, in the mid-Atlantic and wherever you're from, you can probably, probably agree that we had the, we had okay weather. We had good weather from about May till October. So what's that? About five months of the year, if I'm right on that. So the rest of the year, I mean, we're, we're struggling. I remember I used to, t I used to coach a, uh, a, a youth track team in Ambler and on my birthday, which is uh, April 17th, it actually snowed. Imagine that, snowing, well, you probably can imagine that. And I remember it, <laughs> it's crazy. It was, I had my, my track kids actually doing snow angels um, on, the, <laughs> on the field. It was absolutely, absolutely bonkers. But I shouldn't have been surprised because, heck, I've lived here, or lived in the mid-Atlantic, grew up in Maryland, lived there all my life until I got this crazy idea. So what kind of accelerated this for me is one year, I think it was, or one day, my son was playing indoor soccer. He's a big soccer player. He plays uh, down here for a travel team in Wellington now. But we had an indoor soccer game. This was in, I don't know, January or February. And so we drive, we drive to this, uh, to the indoor soccer arena. And the wind, it's so cold and the wind is so strong and so sharp. Oh, I'm gonna get some, see how, how this water is. Oh, it's not even that bad. It's in mid 70s, probably like 75, 76. So it's so cold and the wind is so sharp that my kids are crying. They are literally, I'm not even being, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. My kids were crying and I remember I couldn't breathe. I was having a tough time breathing because the wind was so rough. So after that game and we go back to the car and it's kind of the same thing, I just started thinking, man, I've got to do something. Now again, we had good jobs in, in the Philly area. We had lots of friends there. My folks lived in Maryland. My wife's parents, uh, they still live at the Jersey Shore. So, and in my wife's family, nobody really leaves it's like the mafia <laughs> you can't get out so everybody they're an irish family wonderful wonderful people by the way check this out check out the ocean so flat it's amazing so 
they, you, you just don't move away. So this is, this is strange. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I met uh, Bridget, my wife, when I was 25, and I moved up to Pennsylvania, up to Philadelphia to be with her. But all of her other, her siblings and cousins and everything, it's all Philly, Philadelphia people marrying Philadelphia people staying in the Philadelphia area. So I'm kind of the, uh, the outlier here. So it took a lot, it took a lot of convincing, a lot of conversations, a lot of stress, some tears, but we finally made up the decision that, you know what, this is our lives. We're not living for our parents. We're not living for our siblings. We're not living for our cousins. It's the Ike Miller clan of five, right? Myself, my wife, and my three kitties. That's who I've got to look out for. And if moving away, <laughs> moving a thousand miles where we don't know a single soul, if that's the right thing to do, well, what the heck? Let's get it. Let's get it going. So we decided to make the move. So here's the, here's a few things that you've got to think about that we thought about. And um, obviously if you're in a different stage of life, things will be a little bit different. But the first thing that we had to think about was, hey, Florida's a big state. Where do we want to move? So originally we were thinking about the West Coast, probably Lee County, right around uh, Fort Myers and Cape Coral. We'd vacation there a bunch of times. We love it. Um, since then, as you probably know, the hurricane has wiped out a good amount of that area, but that's completely, uh, completely random. And it's, ooh, that's cold water. And the cities are, they're doing a great job of, of cleaning everything up. So we were looking over there, but we just couldn't, we couldn't get comfortable with those areas as family, kind of like family areas. So as much as we tried and as much as we love the area and we love going there, my parents have now moved to Cape Coral actually, did the mortgage for them. Uh, it just didn't, it didn't, it didn't kind of ring true to us. So Cape Coral was climbing up here. We got some rocks, a little jetty here. Cape Coral was out, but the way that we found, the way that we found where we wanted to be was we were looking, number one, my wife wanted to be somewhere close to the beach. We are, I don't live in Palm Beach here. Um, we live in Wellington and that's about 25, 30 minutes. I think this morning's drive in rush hour, it's about 25 minutes. So we're pretty close to the beach. But what made us choose a town and then communities in that town was the schools. So I'm gonna post a link below or maybe up on the screen to a really solid website that you can go to that kind of ranks the schools. So I was looking on it this morning. By the way, we love our public schools in Wellington are amazing. Yes, there is a huge knock on Florida schools. A lot of stuff I heard from folks in the Northeast. And I grew up in Maryland where our public schools were some of the best in the country. So I get it. But, oh, those Florida schools are terrible. And yes, there are terrible schools in Florida. And maybe there's more terrible schools in, in Florida than in other states. I don't know. But what we did was we went after the high rated schools. So in Wellington, we found uh, my kids go to Equestrian Trails Elementary, which is rated a 10 out of 10, and um, Emerald Cove Middle which is an eight out of 10. They love it. They absolutely love their experiences there. We love the teachers, the community is awesome. I know I'm jumping around a little bit here, but if you go to this, again, I'll, I'll link the site. Um, but if you go there, you can investigate schools. That's what we did. We figured out, okay, we wanna be pretty close to the beach. We want to have, we want good schools, just like any parent wants. We don't want to shell out. We're already moving a thousand miles away and don't know a soul. We're shelling out some money. Um, we don't want to pay for, for a private school. So where are the best public schools? So we found that, boom. Then we looked at, well, what's around them? How's the city laid out? I think my wife, when we went, we, we visited in, uh, in June of 2019. And we just drove around and we were just, we just tried to be locals. We tried not to go to the beach every single day, which is kind of tough because as you can see, yeah, beach is pretty gorgeous. I'm gonna walk back. 
this way now. Um, but we wanted, <laughs> my wife found a Trader Joe's. We found there's all sorts of amazing restaurants in Wellington. And then if you go on the intercoastal, I'll do a couple videos from uh, spots like Guanabana's, um, some spots up in Jupiter, Two Georges in Boynton, right on the intercoastal. The restaurants are amazing. The food is terrific. Atmosphere is the best. It's just really, really neat. So we wanted all these, we wanted these creature comforts close to us. So another check and there's there's other cities. We just found it, we found it in Wellington. So that worked out pretty well for us. And then finally, we didn't, we didn't know a soul. We didn't know a single person when we moved out. Well, I guess we, the realtor that we chose, um, my wife had worked with her husband in Philadelphia, but they didn't know each other very well or anything. So didn't really know anyone. So we wanted, we needed to get into, we needed to make friends quickly. Uh, both Bridge and I are, are pretty social creatures. So um, we, we like to do stuff. We love going out. We love hanging out. We love making friends. So we had to, I'm looking over here in the oceans. So, so clear. Um, sometimes we'll have rays swamp. In fact, uh, last week we were on, on Peanut Island. We're going there tomorrow. I'll shoot a video for you guys on Peanut. But uh, there was a stingray, probably about maybe like two or three feet before this the stinger thing. Um, it swam right up to us because there were some dead fish. And it was so cool, so peaceful, just an amazing thing. Um, all right, I got off on a tangent. Let's go back to communities. So, like I said, we're, we're pretty social, <laughs> social people, and we needed to get, kind of get like a, get a jump into making friends. So, when you move somewhere, especially in Palm Beach County, you've got mainly, I'll oversimplify it, but we've got basically two options. One option is to move into just a, a house on the street, not in a community. You can do that. And a lot of, I know a lot of people who are in them, a lot of people who are happy, but the challenge is you don't really know who your neighbors are so much. So the other option, and it's the one that we chose, is uh, an HOA. So it's basically, there's in Palm Beach County and Wellington, depending on where you are, you, you, where you live now, you may or may not know it, but there's these gated communities. I'm not talking about like super fancy gated communities. Well. There are those, but there's also modest ones as well. Um, so in these in these communities and in the one that we live in, uh, it's called Olympia. There's about a thousand homes, but they're not really on top of each other. There's about a, a three mile loop all around the community, and there's these nature preserves, really cool stuff. But anyway, a lot of folks move down that live in Olympia. They're there for the exact same reasons that we are. We wanted the good weather. We wanted our kids outside all the time and we wanted really good schools. So they moved They moved to Olympia because of equestrian trails and Emerald Cove. Remember those two schools. So instantly, maybe not instantly, but within a few weeks of moving here, we have this new group of friends who are just like us. In fact, I think out of two things, number one, our social life is way more extravagant down here than it was up in Pennsylvania at any time. Um, and it's a function, I think, this is not scientific, but I think I'm right. It's a function of the fact, you know, move towards it so you can kind of see more ocean here. Um, it's January and you're in Chicago or Philadelphia, you can use it. So I think it's a function of about 90% of the folks that we're friends with aren't from Florida. They're like us. They move down for greener pastures and thus they're really open to new relationships and to new friendships. And we found it pretty crazy coming from the north from the northeast, right? We're having wonderful, wonderful people, but they keep things a little bit tight. Here we're two weeks in and we're already going to parties. We're already meeting people. So that's that's something that we found in an HOA. Now is it right for everybody? No, you just gotta think, kind of take your temperature and see what your goals are with the move. So I think I covered almost everything. Uh, the last thing that I'm gonna cover real quick, and this might, this might piss some people off, but that's okay. Um, 
we had, and if you're going to make a big move like this, especially if you have you know family and friends where you live now, um, which you probably do, you're gonna get some pushback. And I'll say that mildly. We had, in our little group of family and friends, we had some haters. A lot of trash was talked. A lot of, a lot of negativity. Now, is that from jealousy? Is that from fear? Is it, I don't know where it's from, only can't look into somebody's heart or soul or anything. But we had a good amount of, of rough conversations with family, with friends, and um, I think it caused a lot of stress. But here's the thing. In the end, we made the decision and it was the best, this was the best move for us because we gotta take care of ourselves. This is my, this is the Ike, the Ike Miller group, right? This is the family, this is the clan. So I think we, despite that, despite those hiccups, and I just, I'm saying that just to, just to warn you to be prepared that you'll have loved ones that maybe for the right reasons because they just care about you and they're worried, maybe for the wrong reasons because they're jealous, who knows, um, they will, they will cause you strife, you will, you will have periods of doubt, of fear, and it's tough, it's really tough. But if you hang on to, if you do the research, you find, a, again, if you're, you got kids, find a place where you wanna live. Again, we're about a half hour, less than that from the beach. Great schools, find a community that's gonna have like-minded people, and you can get your job right, and I'll talk about that in a, in a different video, how we, how us mortgage guys look at uh, employment. If you can do all that, then the rest of this stuff, the rest of this stuff is just, it's kind of noise. And the neat thing, at least for us, is when we go back to Philly or Maryland, or you go to Chicago, you go to Ohio, wherever you're from, New York, it's a pretty short, relatively inexpensive flight. Now we're crazy, we actually drive up to New Jersey in the summer sometimes just to, to spend some time. So we pack all five of us in surfboards and two doggies in a, uh, a to Toyota Sienna. So we're a little bit nuts, but you can fly and you can drive up 95, you can drive up 75, whatever road it is that takes you up to Michigan and Ohio and Chicago, wherever you're from. Um, I guess my point is, don't let that stuff bring you down, okay? you want to do something, if you think it's the right thing and you've done the research, then go for it. Now, if you want help, um, I'm, not a, I'm not a realtor, by the way, so you're probably thinking, well, why is this mortgage guy uh, doing, <laughs> doing videos on moving to Florida? Well, I remember myself, uh, I was, I was kind of nervous about moving to a new area with mortgage qualifications and um, Fortunately, I've helped a lot of, since I did it myself, I did it for my parents, I've helped a lot of folks um, from California, Pennsylvania, New York, everywhere really. Um, I've helped them move here and it is a lot simpler than you think, but you do have to get your ducks in a row. So if you'd like help, if you want advice on uh, how, to, how to set up the financing, I'm there for you, I can, I can easily walk you through it. If you don't know anybody down here and you wanna get connected with a solid, solid realtor, Work with lots of realtors uh, in this area in Palm Beach County, and the majority of them are awesome. But I'll match you up with somebody who works well with with your personality. Um, but I'll get you a hustler, somebody who's going to work really, really hard for you. And if you want to talk about the intangibles, I mean, again, like family, friends, fear, right? What does fear mean? Fear means face everything and rise, right? You got fear okay if you're nervous it's okay if you want to chat about that i'm glad to spend some time with you you can just go ahead and call me at the phone number that's right on here or you can uh or you can go to the website it'll also be right here um phone number is 888-309-9705 and again we'll have the website right here so i appreciate you if you if your dream is to move to florida listen it can happen i did it myself I hope this empowers you a little bit. Um, helped lots of friends do it. Strangers who became friends. Helped a guy in, uh, it, 
in, uh, he lives in Boca Raton now, but I helped him move from Orange County, California out here. He owns Chick-fil-A's and he opened, he just had the grand opening of his restaurant uh, yesterday. So super, super stoked for him. He's got a daughter, she's a teenager. They're just, they're absolutely loving, loving their life in South Florida. So if they can do it, if I can do it, you can do it. Get in touch and um, I'm glad to help. Take care of yourself.